show me something around you right now that will make me understand your current state of mind better. <laughs> I always had hope in this country. Uh, this is the, the Lebanese flag, you can't tell. Uh, I always had hope of, um, you know. and uh, going to the American University of Beirut and graduating and I always thought that I'm I'm set to be here. I'm set to have my future here. Up until recently, when we all felt like we are being oppressed in this country, and we give and give and give, and it's not it's not really giving us back. And we don't know when we could actually we'll die. Die. Yeah. Like it's very occurrent it nowadays. Yeah. So uh, it's just that I'm. I keep uh, starting to lose hope. I just don't know where we stand now. Yeah. But I do not want to lose hope. Like I, I still feel like, and maybe, maybe something good will happen. Maybe if I get, if I get the, a good opportunity, if I get the chance, I am leaving because we were. 22, 23 years old, we're not supposed to be going through the mentality of, are we going to die in our apartment tonight? Are we going to die if we were having dinner somewhere? Is walking, on the, street, just driving, walking on the street, yeah. not like knowing the basic that there's taking bomb right under our feet. Yeah. It's, it's just all overwhelming and it really affecting our mental health. The electricity just went out, so proving our point even more. Yeah, like even the decent uh, rights that we're supposed to have, we don't have them. And the problem is that we're used to that. We're used to having electricity cuts every other hour and then having to drive our cars every day, not, not having public transportation, uh, people not having houses even, uh, like anything, water, electricity, internet, food, uh, like the things that we're supposed to have as the human beings in a respectable Basically, country. And we don't have them. It's, yeah. it's really frustrating. Like we don't know how it is to have all our rights. We never felt it. We, we don't know the taste of it. So anyway. Should we move on to the next question? Yeah. Great. How do you think we reacted to the events of August 4th differently and how do you see it impacting our relationship? Processing first what happened, understanding what happened, uh, and then acting upon it with, because it, like it took me around five days to wake up from the shock that happened. I was just like in a loop of sitting at home, watching TV and like cleaning my wounds and then sleeping and then repeating. And then like after these five days, I was like, okay, I need to do something. I can't keep on doing this. I couldn't work. So um, I was helping people on the ground because like okay. this is what... Yeah, I like trying to help out as much as possible from my position because I wasn't able to go out because of wounds everywhere. So, uh, you can't uh, walk under the sun because of your uh, injuries because they had stitches all over. Yeah, so exactly. So I couldn't yeah. go out. And then, like, just it's more of a mental exercise now because, um, because of the trauma and the like the fear of anything exploding, of any loud sound, and like a practice of a lot of thoughts in the mind. And other than that, I'm just, I bought a violin yesterday, so and I want to start mm -hmm. learning, even though I'm 22 and I'm old, I guess. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to learn and like maybe take my mind off things while doing it and being proud of what I'm gonna be doing. Like, 
playing music, yeah. which is something that I've always wanted to do. I'm proud so, yeah, of you. That's it. You did that. You always wanted to buy one and start. And I'm just happy that you got to the point where, okay, you went there, you bought it, and now you're going to start it. And like, it's the time. Like, I almost, I almost died. We almost died. So, like, we got, in a way, a second, ja- second chance in life. And I just want to enjoy it, like live it, do the things that I've always wanted to do, but didn't do, uh, like just experience things, go out and enjoy my time and try as much as I can uh, to like make the most out of the second chance in life. So, yeah. I agree. What is one experience you wish we never shared? <laughs> it's a given. <laughs> read, read the room. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess it's the moment of the explosion, the day yeah. August 4. So we were waiting for you to get home. We decided to take a, a cigarette before we left, after you, you this arrived. This is literally like the, the cigarette <laughs> savior. Yeah. Our lives. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's when the explosion happened. You were sitting on the couch and I was sitting next to you. Honestly, I do not remember anything. The only thing I remember is... Being on the ground. Falling on the yeah. ground. Yeah. Yeah. Shots all over. And next and then thing he, I is seeing blood, me and you sitting in a pile of our own blood with glass, glass inside the yeah. door, inside the, inside the balcony door. <laughs> yeah. And then like having to get out of the glass and saving ourselves from the glass and thinking there's another explosion going to happen because we did not know what what it was and another bomb yeah because we thought it was we did not know it was just going to be a a it's not an accident yeah i I don't know what it was that's the thing we don't know how it happened we still have a lot of questions and yeah and nothing has been answered yeah, and that it's the whole thing. It's the whole day, like getting out of the glass, trying to to check on our neighbors because they're all elderly, making sure that they're okay if they need any help. It was insane, like trying to get the car out and out of the the buildings that were already falling and the, falling. Yeah, and just getting to the hospital to the emergency room and helping people on the streets, taking them to the, to the hospital with us. And I just, I'm glad I wasn't alone in this, but I'm, I'm, I wish you were, <laughs> you were home and you did not have to deal with all of that. No, uh, like if, you know, I wish that we never shared this experience with If it has to happen, I'm glad that I was with you. What is your biggest fear right now? You haven't shared with me yet. And what can I do to to support you better? Failing, mainly. At work and uh, in life in general. And disappointing people, family, friends. especially like now the violin, like I really want to learn. I really want to be not a professional, but at least not make uh, loud, loud noises, loud, very bad noises with it. Like I just want to know how to hold it and how you can help me. I don't like just being there. Like there is no uh, physical when help you can do. Every single day. Yeah. Remind me to do that. <laughs> force me to oh. do it. Yeah. <laughs> not gonna remind you. I'm gonna force you. Yes, please. Um, so yeah, that's mainly it. Like you, you're just being there. 
is going to help me achieve what I want. Yeah, I'm always going to be there and you know that. Thank you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs>